Oh, on your knees. On your knees. Kevin, Kevin. Kevin. Where is Mark? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Kevin, as you can see, everybody in my compound is at war because of one person. Give us Mark and free yourself. If not, at the count of three, I will blow off your head. One, two. Wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on, hold on. This is episode 100. Is it episode 100? <laughs> yes! Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! Come on, Andre! Come, stand up, guys. Stand up, 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 Enjoy it! My name is Ogochuku Kingsley, popularly known as K. Brown. My name is Mazi Kenneth Ochoma. I am the Ogalan Lord in Caretaker Series. My name is uh, Daniel Onyedi Kachi Azu, aka Mr. Azu. My name is Victor Ihiogo, aka The Law, The Legal Luminary. My name is Okechuku Miracle Chinechitam. My character name is Mimi. My name is Amanda Damilola Angel, aka Wanyocha. My name is Eberichi Aloze, aka iPhone Baby. How did I join the Caretaker series? Uh, quite a long time, yeah. And I have a special love for Play on Words, so I think the creators, the story writers behind the series, consider this as a strength that will fit into the series. So hence they introduced me. Um, how I joined the Kiatika series was um, I'm a very close friend to Mark. So every time Mark is in trouble, he comes to me for help. And um, when he was about being evicted from the compound, I came to solicit for his stay. Then when I now let her have accommodation issue, uh, Mark uh, accommodated me. And that was how I got into the compound and became a member of the compound. Um, Mr. Azo called me. Uh, for the role of uh, a gal landlord. And I came in and the uh, landlord was sick in the hospital. Uh, so I think um, I delivered the role very well. And that's what brought me into the caretaker series. Mm, I think that would be from the first episode where uh, we're putting up money for Mr. Azu's mother's barrier. I think it was just supposed to be a compound shoot and then give birth to the caretaker series. Do Acting is not my thing. I don't like acting. I like working behind the scene. So a day came, we are in the house, you know, we are discussing content and I was meant to call artists. So like, Mark was like, Azu, you can do this now. Why don't you try this? It was very, very hard for me, but I tried, I took the bull step and today here I am. There's this time they were shooting in the compound and they needed a character and I fit in perfectly for that character. So from there, that was when I started. One day I was looking for my charger then I entered the compound to meet one or child to take it from her and they were shooting. So I just sat down there, they asked me not to go anywhere. That's how I joined and became one your child's sister. Okay, I think Kiatika series is all about um, it's a satire exposing the nitty gritty, the good, the bad, and the ugly of the society. Exposing people into crime, especially people in the public office. Revealing the ills in politics. In Caretaker series, you will understand what trust is all about. Caretaker series is about politics. But me, I don't even know what I'm doing in Caretaker series. Eh? I don't play politics. What am I even doing in Caretaker series? My character in Caretaker series, I'm a very good friend to Mark and uh, more of um, someone who is not too loud in the compound, still observing the character and the politics that is going on in the compound. And to maintain law and order, most importantly, since the story boils down to the daily happenings and how tenants can have it, the politics. So um, from 
being Mark's personal lawyer down to making sure I maintain law and order in the compound. I'm the only married woman in that compound. I think the only married tenant in the compound. Married to an unknown husband. I see my husband in like once in two years. And I just want to mind my business and be happy. But the crazy thing is happening in the compound. They have dragged me into politics. And I don't think I, that's what I really want. I think uh, I play as Mr. Azo, the man of justice. The man who, who, who doesn't want to see himself or see his character being close to anything injustice. I don't say a man who does not know how to express himself or his feelings quietly without shouting. Being a single lady, always minding my business before the whole politic thing started and I started getting involved. My character in Ketika series, Find Your Child's Sister, I have iPhone and I'm the person that does have sense. <laughs> and uh, especially when a uh, political dimension came into it, it became really more interesting. And um, I love it so much because we use it as a satire, you know, to let people know exactly what is happening, not only in Nigeria, in the whole world. So that character, landlord is very very interesting and i see it as an awesome character my experiences and the um, biggest challenges so far acting and chaotic series first of all my experiences i've learned a whole lot trust me i've learned uh, more how to tolerate one another how to operate and of course i've understood the law because to interpret that particular character, you have to study the law to an extent. So I've learned a whole lot. And then the challenges, of course, putting these words together, putting these words together, trust me, it's a whole lot of work. Even though sometimes we have to speak pure jargon, but then at times you have to get it correctly. So putting down the words together, interpreting the script has been a whole lot of work. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of learning. I've gotten to learn new stuff, new stuff about life new stuff about the act of acting. It can get really stressful sometimes because you have to stand for long hours, you have to repeat certain lines severally, you have to sometimes, you won't have to shoot under the rain, you have to put your leg in dirty water, like it gets really dirty and messy sometimes. Actually I've learned a lot in terms of uh, the behavior of my tenants in the compound. Then my biggest challenge which to me as an actor, I may not see it as a big challenge, is um, when I moved from a landlord, such an exalted position, then to now start finding myself in the bush, carrying gun, you know, chasing after my caretaker, who has uh, turned to become something else, you know. So even sometimes I ask her, I can, uh, as a landlord, I carry gun, find myself in the bush, moving about with talks and all those things, you know. So it's a challenge, but it's interesting. I enjoy it so much. I'm improving and I'm learning more. And my best challenge is I get to act like a dumb person and sometimes people see me like somebody that don't have sense. So embarrassing sometimes. I've understand things from this category series. I must confess, I've learned a lot from it. Um, my biggest challenge, bro, I must tell you, whenever I see a content creator, Please, give me some handshake. It is not easy to create content, especially my character. Mr. Azu, you have to do this, you have to do this. Man, all is shouting. I have to start shouting. At times, man, I go home and I just feel weak. Well, my acting skills have improved and my facial expression and all of that has improved because it really helped me because sometimes one of the challenges I used to have the like, facial expression, something that would be like, open your mouth, do this, ah. So it's kind of difficult sometimes where you have to play a role where you're not going to say anything and all you have to just deliver that day is your facial expressions. It's really difficult for me sometimes, but I'm, I'm getting it. To some point I've been educated more on Nigerian politics. You know, um, if um, you're somebody who is a lover of the Nigerian politics, uh, the company will give you an insight of what's actually going on in the Nigerian politics. Then, for the challenges, Mostly uh, during the time of production, sometimes the weather interferes. Like during the rainy season, it's kind of difficult to make productions. And then picking and remembering some lines sometimes too can be quite challenging. Okay, what you should expect from the Caretaker series? You know when the Caretaker series started, 
we're not conducting elections. We'll just appoint a leader. But as time went on, crazy things started happening. The compound is evolving every day. Now we have guns, we have different gangs. We are doing a lot of crazy stuff. And there's going to be more crazy stuff. More suspense, more political power tussle. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. A lot should be expected in caretaker series. You know, actions, more rat matters, more uh, thrills. Expect um, pure politics. Expect um, anything is possible on Kiatika series. Remember, it's our daily lives, it's politics that cuts across Nigeria and beyond. So expect the unexpected. The story is all about twists. So I can't just say anything, but all I would tell is keep watching, stay tuned, and you see the best from Kiatika series. It's episode 100 already. Wow. Really? Episode 100. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Like, this wouldn't have been possible if you've not been watching. It's been a good journey. It's been a smooth journey of learning and adapting. I want to say a big thank you to all our supporters, the big fan base. Thank you all for watching, for subscribing, for sharing this content. Without the encouragement on the comment session, we will be discouraged in giving more content or even posting. But the comments are encouraging. I want to say thank you very much for it. Without you, this channel will not get into this extent. Please, we we'll want your much more cooperation. Keep on watching our content. Keep on sharing it. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments, for your likes, for sharing, for subscribing, for bringing your friends and family, for telling them about the show. Thank you so much. We ask that you continue to you know, encourage us. Without you, we won't be here doing what we are doing to keep you happy, to make you, give you the enthusiasm, to relieve you of stress, relieve you of sickness. Thank you for watching. Uh, please keep commenting, keep subscribing to our channels and sharing of our videos. It is you guys that kept us here and you guys will keep us going. Thank you very much. We love you. Mwah.